Hello my friend, in this lecture I will show you how to make game over screen. So when you die, there will be a message like that. That message is also gonna pause your game. So you learn how to pause your game, how to restart it. And also how to use project auto loading feature. And what is that? How to use it, why to use it and so on. Let's go. How do we create user interface like game over or button in God? In order to do it, we hit control plus A and here notice that we have got something like control, which is green. And any node that is used for something what is called GUI, which is graphical user interface. So for the things that you show to the user and it is graphic, is stored in this node. It is the same as for node 2D. Notice that we learned how to use, for example, animated sprite 2D. How we use the collision object 2D, area 2D, right? We learned about a few things from this node and all these things are stored in this node 2D. In control, we have things regarding the user interface, okay? And when I create it, I can now, for example, call it game over, okay? And I can put inside of it now things that will be related to the user interface. Like, for example, label which is inside a control, as you can see. And now I can, for example, type here game over, okay, and save it. But where is that game over? Okay, this is in the, like, our initial position of our game, which is zero, zero. This is not what we want, right? We want it to be like in the middle. Like, I don't know, but where is middle of our game? That's a good question, right? So when I open this game, notice that game over, okay, we died. <laughs> that game over is like standing here. And it's not moving with us, right? It's not following us. So this is definitely not what we want. So we're gonna change the type of game over and do it like this and change it to something what is called canvas layer for things that you want to show up independently. So it means that it doesn't matter uh, where you put these things in your game, right? You are just want to show it like on top of other things, on top of your game, you need to use canvas layer as the parent, okay? Also, I made again this mistake here, game over. I'm sorry, I have ADHD and I'm without my medications today. So game over should be here. And now we've got here what label. And now when we play it, as you can see, this label is like, you know, on top of us. And that's good. I like to have things on top of me. So when you have label here, notice that now we can move it, but this is still not good because, <laughs> well, it would be great if it was in the middle and to be honest I, looking at this it's hard to spot where everything is that's why we're gonna hit this here and change this into the scene save branch as scene and save it into the scenes folder okay like this and now when we open it here it's easier to see the viewport so the size of our game which is set where when we go here it is this size currently right we can clear it's okay that's that's here okay i can see it now and now we can put it in the middle it's easier to do we can use things like for example that it will always be in the middle but to do such stuff, I will really need to go deeply into the user interface uh, things. And this is not the topic of this lecture. It would take a bit too much time. So for now, I will just set this here and I will show you how to, for example, change the size of game over. When you go here into the control, you have team overrides, font size, and you can change this to, for example, 120 and set the size to game over. Now we're gonna use something what is called button and button is just the thing that you can click and I'm gonna type here reset button and I'm gonna put it here and also change the font size to for example 60 right so we have a reset button in the middle. Now when we go to here as you can see it probably in the middle the most important thing is that it's following us we can click on it nothing happens it's okay 
but well we probably do not want to show up game over instantly that's the first thing and the second thing that it would be great if there was some kind of overlay let's do it then there is something what is called color rectangle and when you put a color rectangle you can change the size of it not manually but here when you hit this you can change it to the size of your viewport okay and you can change the color of it to for example red and as you can see now we have red panel here which is a bit too much i think <laughs> Uh, but the thing that I wanted to show you is that when I hit on this, you have got here something like transparency. So you can change this to, for example, I want it to be like 25% transparent. Here it looks like it's a solid color because, well, behind we have a solid color too. But here, as you can see, it looks better, right? And now when uh, we are here, we have got like a reddish color on uh, when somebody dies, right? So when I do it like this, as you can see, you can change the visibility here. It's not gonna be shown at the start. And now I want to like show it when I hit the kill zone, right? So how do we show it? When we go to the kill zone, and we go to the script of killzone here we kill the person and we also want to show the game over but how do we access game over from this particular place there are many ways to access node like game over but in this situation i think the game over user interface should be always available and normally we would do it through something what is called game manager but i do not want to make this lecture too complicated because i always say do things step by step and learn from your mistakes so i'm gonna hit the project here project settings and go into something what is global and here i can choose the scene that i want to add as a global scene when i open it and I hit add button, now I can access it in my code whenever I want using this name here, okay? So game over. Now when I close it, this is gonna be fun because when I open it, you will notice that we have got visible game over even though I have got hit here and invisible. It's because, well, I can even delete it. Why is it so? Because anything that is added here into the globals is gonna be auto loaded it means it's gonna be attached to the main tree of our game right to this thing here so it is gonna be added as you can see it's visible it is there and now if i want to by default make it invisible we need to go to the game over then go into the layer and change this from on to off so this is now a default state as you can see it's invisible or you could do it from here right this is the other way okay so now it's invisible let's start and we want to show it right so when the player dies i want to access game over and then yeah i want to show it but how do we show it and as you can see you can use ai to ask how to show it, hide something uh, is there a function that does it uh, because as you can see yeah there is also a function you can change it not only using the property right true false but you can also use the height and show functions so i can do something like hey show it up okay and now only after i die it shows up and as you can see this is also cool that it changes our color a bit to reddish right so it shows up like okay you just died <laughs> so we know now how to show it, but we need to now also make it possible to reset our game. How do I reset game in Godot 4? Shortly. Shortly, I said because I don't want it to you know, go deeply into this. So all I need to do is invoke something like this. I need to execute it when what? When the button is pressed, right? This button here so when i go to the button and uh, notice that uh, okay maybe 
we shouldn't do it from here because this is a problem because we don't see <laughs> how it looks like right and this is definitely not what we want to have because we want to uh, be able to play with it <laughs> uh, so this is not a good place to make something visible or not visible I uh, and to make it like from the code we need to attach here a script okay and here is a function which is called ready and this function is run this is a special function that is made by code creators and it is run when the node enters the scene tree so when the game is loaded with this specific thing and then I can set for example uh, I can just hide it okay by default something like that so by default it is now hidden and we can clearly see it in here so this is what we want to have and now when somebody hits on the reset button and we go into the node notice that we have got here event signals that we talked about in the previous lecture but because it is a new topic still I will remind you that these are things that happen that registers observes when the thing like the label here like pressed is gonna be emitted so when the button is toggle.press this signal is emitted it means this is gonna be invoked and when I hit on this I can now connect it but I'm not gonna do it now because I need to change the name to reset uh, reset game button why because this is gonna be a bit more self descriptive then okay and now when I connect this as you can see this function like now, now says something on reset game button pressed and now I need to just invoke this from the AI this is just getting the tree so our main uh, game tree okay and then it invokes reload current scene and to the people that think like hey but you should do all these things on your own you shouldn't use ai for such things do you know what happens in get tree exactly do you know how it is coded because I, because the, the, do you know how it's coded the reload current scene is coded no you just look at the name of it and you use it so this is working right this just solves the problem and what is more notice that looking for this using AI even when you are using it like a documentation it's gonna be faster than looking into documentation here right so how do I reload a scene reload okay. you know when you forget some things it's hard to find these things in documentation because sometimes you need to look through many functions many properties uh, this is just faster right and now when I play this game as you can see I can reset our game but after resetting it we need to also well we need to access game over and hide it right and now when I play the button as you can see everything works fine but before we stop this lecture I want to show you something very 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 interesting it's about pausing and pausing your game notice that when we killed our person we had to in the previous lecture also stop execution of for example uh, things in enemy node but our game can get big and uh, there can be many interactions in our game so instead of killing our player we're gonna command it control plus uh, key commands the line of code and it's not gonna be executed now and here i am gonna like pause the game how to do it well let's ask Ike how to pause and pause the game and uh, notice that i could tell you this right but things like that to be honest you don't write so often right and you can just forget it and i know that you can forget things because i have adhd so uh, i am always like hey the most important thing for me is to know the process to know how to code okay it's not to remember all the things and now when i do something like that i pause the game but this is not the end of our story notice that we can't now hit the button we post our entire game 
okay this is very important we pause it entirely including what game over and to change it when i go to the game over we need to go into the process and here we have got modes and by default this mode is called inherit which means it's gonna be the same as the parent so for game over in our case the, the parent is game which is by default pausable so it means that it can be paused so we pause our interface too but if we change this mode to for example always our game over uh, node so our user interface will always be able to be like processed okay but we can change it to when paused because to be honest we want to show the game over only when the game is paused right and it's also gonna work so after reloading the current scene and hiding our well we need to unpause it also right so let's do something like that so we're gonna now unpause our game right because otherwise we stop and now as you can see we can clearly play our game die and reset it from the scratch that's only the lesson that is always if you have any questions feel free to ask have a good day guys who cares